Well, let's get to the rest of our regularly scheduled program here. We have got NFL Week 15 Pick'em coming up. And ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right from Sean. We do have Saturday games. College football is now in the bowl season. It starts this weekend, I believe, or it actually started uh, this past weekend with the uh, Army-Navy game, if uh, if I remember correctly. Whoa, Army-Navy? <laughs> Uh, so we do have the rest of bowl season starting up, which means that the regular Saturday, Saturday schedule is available for the NFL to take over like they do every year. We have already picked our Thursday night game, which is currently going on as we've talked about It's 49, seven at the moment Raiders are up. Tabo has lost that pick. Wonderful. No undefeated week for that guy. The hell was he thinking? Only one loss, one last week. <laughs> Well, let's start off our Saturday uh, slate of games starting at noon. We've got the Vikings, who only scored three points in their last game. They'll head into Cincinnati and take on the Bengals, who are three-and-a-half-point favorites. Give me the Bengals. Yeah, it's uh, Nick Mullins and start of Josh Dobbs this week. Josh Dobbs' project is no longer going on. Jake Browning was suffering from thumb sprains last game, but – I think he's over that, so give me the Bengals. Yeah, um, Dobbs reverted back um, to Rams. The, um, Crimps. Third string quarterback as well, not Ooh. just backup. All the way down the, to third. The more you know, the less you better you are. That's just Dobbs for you. Tybo. I'm still gonna take the Vikings here. And completely we trust. defeated week. 3.30 game on Saturday. We've got the Steelers who will head into Indianapolis, take on the Colts at home. The Colts are one and a half point favorites. Uh, Kenny Pickett's out for the season, right? Is that Was that confirmed? Yeah, so give me the Colts. No questions. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the Colts as well. You guys want me to stick with you guys, or do you want me to go opposite? I want you to pick who you think is going to win, dude. Whatever you pick, you're going to lose. So, Colts. He's going to (laughs) take us. Our first game of the week coming from the Saturday night football game. Broncos heading into Detroit, taking on the Lions. At home, the Lions are four and a half point favorites. Take the Broncos. No reason, just take them. Uh, no, I'm going to go ahead and take the Lions on that one, just for that. Oof, bad pick. Broncos. Beating us really lit a fire under them. It did. It did them, it did them well. Uh, our first game on Sunday in the noon hour is Chiefs versus Patriots. We've already chosen that. Go back and listen to our Chiefs pod as we break down that game preview. So our next game at noon is Jets, who will head into Miami and take on the Dolphins. At home, the Dolphins are nine-and-a-half-point favorites. Give me the Jets to cover. Yeah, the Jets finally got that spark on offense with Zach Wilson coming back after getting benched. Go ahead and give me the Jets. I'm brave enough to take the Dolphins. Tua goes down in this game. Wow. Next up at noon, we've got Tommy DeVito and the Giants. They'll head into New Orleans and take on the Saints, who are six-point favorites at home. After seeing what happened last week, seeing what the Saints have done all season, seeing what Derek Carr has been unable to do, he will continue to Raider as humanly possible without being on the Raiders team. Give me Tommy DeVito and the Giants. Keep it going. We're going with uh, good old Tommy D. What's the spread here? Six. Saints favored. Yeah, I'll t- I'll take Giants as well. Next in the noon hour, we've got the Bears who will head into Cleveland and take on the Browns uh, with 
elite Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco and the Browns are three-point favorites at home. Why not ride with them? Go Brownies. He is elite, but this is the time of year that the Bears' offense kind of turns it around, and their defense has actually been looking pretty good recently. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Bears. Uh, Fuck the Bears. Go Browns. Few more games here left in the noon hour. We've got the Falcons who head into Carolina to take on the Panthers at home. The Panthers are three point dogs. No questions, no explanation needed. Give me the Falcons. I've been around the Panthers for far too long now. Go ahead and give me the Falcons. Uh yeah, I'll stick. I'll stick Fountains. Fountains. Uh Falcons. <laughs> That's funny. Tybo's the only uh, person on the show to have successfully picked the Panthers to cover uh, in one week throughout all of Pick'em so far. Wow. Yeah, I remember that call. It was a, it was a three point spread. Yep, they always are. Not always. Almost never, actually. Our second game of the week coming in in the noon hour. It is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Packers at home are three and a half point dogs. Dogs. Give me the Packers to cover. Ooh, I never thought I'd be the one picking Baker Mayfield in one of these between me and you but here we are it's actually two weeks in a row that it's happened didn't even notice last week I'll take back last game at noon the Houston Texans missing a large group of players headed into this game will take on the Titans in Nashville at home the Titans are three point favorites and give me the Titans Will Anderson's out for the season. Uh, I believe C.J. Stroud is still in concussion protocol. Tank Dell is out. Uh, they, they're missing some offensive linemen again, as well as additional defensive players. I, I think the Texans are are going to call it a wrap for the season. Yeah, C.J.'s out, but you know what time it is? Mills Mafia time, baby. Give me the Texans. You. Long neck David Mills. <laughs> Long neck Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, I have a hard time arguing with Ty Bob's case that he just built. Um, what's the spread here? I'm sorry. Three. In favor of Titans. Yeah, I uh, can't pick the Titans. Give me the Texans. Wow. Woo! Let's go. Starting off our three o'clock hour games, we've got the Washington Commies who will head into SoFi and take on the Los Angeles Rams at home. The Rams are six and a half point favorites. They've been steadily getting it together. They've had really difficult competition so far in their schedule over the last few weeks. The Rams are still playing very, very well. Give me the Rams to win and cover. Yeah, easy Rams pick here. Uh, Ron Rivera may be fired at this game as well. HCEB, give it to him. I think I think the Commanders can cover, guys. Our next three hundred five game with a very large spread, biggest spread of the week. Even though we've had a nine and a half or Forty Niners heading into. Arizona taking on the Cardinals at home. The Cardinals, 12-point dogs. Give me the Niners. Yeah, the Niners just seem to be mollywhopping everybody. Go ahead and give them to me. <laughs> oh, boy. I well, I really want to pick the Cardinals right now, but I'm not. I, I'll take the I'm Niners. Not. That's a surprising take. We'll get to our final game of the week. It is in the 325 hour. The Cowboys, who will head into New York, take on the Buffalo Bills. Bills at home are two-point favorites in this game. 
I'm sorry. I don't know that why they're, yeah, they're two point favorites. I don't know. Because the AFC is better than the NFC. That is true, but yeah, Cowboys by a landslide in this game. Unless the Chiefs have somehow lit a landslide. Unless the Chiefs have also done this with the Bills as they did with the Broncos and ignited their season after a win, landslide. I don't know about landslide, but definitely, definitely Cowboys win and cover. The Bills took the Eagles to overtime before they played us. Cowboys mollywopped the Eagles. Oh, well, all right, whatever. Um, <laughs> Sean, did you take the Bills? He no, took I did the not. boys. Then I will take the Bills. What if I took Last... the Bills? Then I might have taken the boys. Tybo doesn't know where he's going. I don't. He just playing the odds off us. Sunday night football. We have got the Baltimore Ravens who will head into Jacksonville, take on the Jaguars at home. Jaguars are three and a half point dogs. Ravens walking away with a big, big win here. If we want the one seed, we need the Ravens to go ahead and lose one of these next few games, and this is going to be one of those games. Give me the Jags. There's a lot of conflicting emotions with this pick, but I am going to take the Ravens. Hopefully they drop it. I'll definitely take a I'll happily take a loss here if that's the case, but Jags are, have not been very good. Around the week off with Monday Night Football, just one game, no doubleheader this week. We've got the Philadelphia Eagles who make the trip over and up to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Do we know if Geno will be back yet? We don't, but he is potentially in play to start as the Seahawks are three-point dogs at home, and I'll take the Eagles on this one. Yeah, this seems like it's a perfect get right game for the Eagles. Uh Gino doesn't like strong defensive lines, and that's what the Eagles have. So give me the Eagles. How big is the spread? Three in favor of the Eagles. Boy, uh, uh, wild hair up my ass. I want the Seahawks. Don't think it's all that wild. I can guess your motivation. <laughs> He's trying to get it all back in one week and not try to cherry pick it on his way through to the Super Bowl. Kind of like the Chiefs. Bro. Shots no, fired again, man. This is all he does. Pow, 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 pow. That's what we're here for. Let's make headlines. That'll do it for our NFL Week 15 preview. Make sure to join us back next week as we recap all the happenings from the hip hop poppinins. And as always, go Chiefs. Chiefs. <laughs> this is so bad, dude.